you, sir. Mm. Did you put this here? Yeah, you know me, all about the baby photos. <laughs> Uh-oh, Martine, you're on fleek. I'm going for coffee with Felix. F Felix? Do you not recall what he put you through as a teenager day after day? Mm, I think she's remembering the nights. Lisa, <laughs> you are wrong about your auntie Martine. After all the heartache Felix caused, the pain and destruction he wrought on this family, I know you will be wise and keep well away from Mr. Westwood. You look pretty hot in that. I mean, your bank balance wouldn't. <laughs> a girl can daydream. So can a man. In fact, you have the starring role in my go-to fantasies. Funny that. In mine, you weren't even an extra. I knew this was a bad idea. You still turned up. Oi, I keep bumping into you. Must be kiss me. You mean kiss met? Oi, you're not another one of her secret sons, are you? Son? He is older than me. See ya. <laughs> no, no, wait. No, no, please, please don't go. I, I love spending time with Mitchell, but it's you I want to talk to. I owe it to you. I was even going to treat you to one of those special chocolate muffins. What do you say to that? I'd say I'd prefer blueberry. OK. <laughs> Still can't believe I never caught you on one of your planes. <laughs> That's probably because I only serve first class. I only fly first class. Hey, my business is doing all right. Business? So that's what you've been doing all this time? Not all of it. Took me years to grow up. A couple of them inside. Right. My prison tutor changed my life. Helped me see that I'd taken some wrong turns. Some really wrong turns. I'm not still that 17-year-old kid that didn't show you the respect you deserved. I'm a man now. A different person. The only thing that hasn't changed is how I feel about you. I've, I've got to take this. Yeah. Yeah, I know it is. I miss you too. We'll be together soon, yeah? Love you. Thank you for coming. Oh. <laughs> well, Lisa can be very convincing. I was actually hoping we could talk about Felix. That man, he, he is trouble. Hey, Grandad, less bad mouthing, more biscuit eating. I'm just curious. Not worth the conversation. Sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm. hey, do I have sickle cell disease? No, 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 no. You, you were tested at birth. <sighs> oh. uh, let's see if you have anything in common. Do you like Murder She Wrote? Murder She What? Uh -huh. I. I used to dance. I mean, when you're locked up in that room for all those years, you gotta get good at something, right? <laughs> Just like Mitchell. Yeah, see, his was more like adult entertainment. Mitch, listen, I, I came here to learn about... our family. But clearly, I'm never going to be the grandson you decided to keep, so... No, 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 no. I wanted to keep you. Please. You know it is Good Friday tomorrow, hmm? Would you come to the service? Celeste too, of course. It would make this old fool very happy. Me too. <sighs> I knew she was the killer. No, you did not. Yes, I did. She had two different nail polishes on. <laughs> you know nothing about murder. Uh, but I know about my nail polish. <laughs> I should go. Uh, you're going nowhere. 
Yes, and my offer to come to the service still stands. As the good Lord says. Uh, Granddad, more teas, please. Ah. This isn't gonna work, you know. No, I'm trying to stop you and Celeste for that matter being a pair of idiots. Idiots? So what happened to that whole gently, gently approach? <laughs> it went out the window round about the time I figured out who the murderer was. Look, Toby, I know you and Celeste had a spectacularly crummy childhood. I sympathise. I really do. See, I was taken from my family. I was raised somewhere else by someone else. I was locked away. Well, my dad was fished out of the river last year. Point is, Toby, we all have our sob stories. Now, I know that man over there can be too loud and too bossy to everything, but he's family. And trust me, that is something that is exceptionally hard to find. There's too much history. All we're asking of you is to throw on your glad rags and sit through one of Grandad's homilies. Toby, when you first landed in this village, you lied to everyone, yeah? Me included. I seem to remember sitting on this very couch trying to lay one on you because you didn't tell me you were my cousin, yeah? So never mind forgiving and forgetting, you owe me. Grandad? Hmm? Toby's coming to the service. He is? Fantastic! What is it, Mitchell? How did you... Can't run a corner shop without eyes in the back of your head. How can your mother help? It's Felix. He, uh, said he went for coffee, but it's been radio silence ever since. He just asked me to find out why. And please, feel free to leave out any personal details. We didn't get to the personal details bit. I heard him whispering sweet nothings on the phone. Obviously got another woman on the go. <sighs> really? He didn't think I noticed. But like I said, eyes in the back of my head. Your dad's a player, always has been and always will be. I was a fool to let him back in, even for a minute. We were both fools. It's in the fitting shed. Hey, you fancy the Easter egg hunt tomorrow? Eggs, 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 eggs. Yeah, well, Liberty's not exactly known for a subtlety. Yeah, it seems a bit twee. Well, you're a family man, aren't you? You just took the long way around. Hey, all the long size. Once we've got rid of these, back to the house, yeah? I'm on my way. <laughs> hey! You want to pet a chocolate with that attitude? Thanks for sending me on a recon mission with some incomplete information. Mum heard you on the phone to another woman. She heartbroken. Practicing her aim more like. Mm. Don't mess her around. I'm not going to hurt her. And I definitely haven't got another woman on the go. She just got a wise cross, that's all. Glad to know that she cares, though. Hey! Let's talk. Let's not. Mitchell tells me you think I have another woman on the go. Whatever poor, unfortunate soul you've wrapped around your quote-unquote pinky, I don't care. Martine, you definitely have the wrong end of the stick. <sighs> If I've got the wrong end of the stick, Felix, I would use it right now to beat the everlasting pulp out of you. Martin, listen to me. OK. What down on a luck floozy were you giving the white boy to yesterday over the phone? All that, we'll be together soon. I love you. Martin, that wasn't a girlfriend. I have another son. What's his name? Demarcus. Poor kid. So have you got him tucked away? Bolton. <laughs> Bolton. Home of the Wanderers. Fitting. I love him. That's what you heard me saying yesterday, how much I love him. So why is he there and you're here, cocking your eye at everything that moves? He's with his mother. <gasps> We're not together. Good for her. So you abandoned them like you abandoned me and Mitchell? I didn't abandon you. You popped out for a pint of milk and never came back. You said we were going to be a family and you disappeared. It wasn't like that. Ugh! You can't be trusted. You know what? I should have fought harder. And I didn't. But I'm learning. But me and Demarcus, I'm a real father to him. Yeah. Well, even a deadbeat dad can get it right a fourth time round. Martin, please. No. 
I was 17 years old, and I had just grown three humans inside of me. My body was messed up, my head was messed up, and my heart was yours, and you broke it. But I'm a big girl now. And all I care about is those children. So do what you're best at, Felix. Leave.